The Herald Standard presents the game of the week tonight. The West Green Pioneers have journeyed east to battle the Geibel Catholic Gators in a very important section game. But first, let's talk about some history. Last season, the Pioneers went on a historic tear, meeting all of their team goals. Um, first was to make it to playoffs, which we did. Second was to be section champs, which we are. The next one was to go 10-0 in section, which we did. Our overall record, we won 18 games, and we're hoping to tie the school record with 19. Which they did, beating the Rochester Rams in round two of the playoffs. Tonight, they face a Geibel team who has been unbeaten in their conference. Junior Madison Lampy kicks off the scoring. Seconds later, Sister McKenna Lampy follows up with two more. Elizabeth Brudnock begins her 12-point game with this sinker. I'm not ignoring Geibel, they just haven't scored yet. Until Piper Scari picks off this rebound for a two-point turnaround late in the first. And a quick follow-up by Gabby Urish. And by the second quarter, it's 23-5 West Green. The action was intense, and points came hard for Geibel. The other Urish sister, Jillian, with a layup. The stunning speed of this game put the Gators to a disadvantage. Every mistake seems to fall to the Pioneers. And by the half, it was 42 to nine. West Green. Last year, the Pioneers defeated Geibel by 35 points. And here we are in the middle of the third and it's already a 39 point game. West Green contested Geibel's every move. But the Gators are not used to losing and they're not willing to quit. Jillian goes coast to coast. In the end, West Green takes this one home with a 52-point victory over Geibel. Hey, this is John Tisch with the Herald Standard, and this is our game of the week. I'm here with Madison and McKenna Lampy. Ladies, you guys are ranked number two this year. How does it feel? Uh, it feels pretty good because, like, we have a lot of girls this year that can play, and it just adds to our team. It makes us better, so it's so pretty exciting. Yeah, it's pretty exciting because we're number two out of like everybody, so it's a good feeling. I think because we have speed and like making them go up and down the court tires them out, and and we have like we have numbers, so we can always sub in if we get yeah, tired. we can sub five in, sub five out. I mean, there's a lot of turnovers tonight. Do you feel like your speed attributed to that? Yeah, I feel like it did and like our aggressiveness and to go after the ball even though we're up by a lot just yeah being aggressive <laughs> yeah if we if we like speed teams up it makes them like move faster so they make more mistakes I feel like it puts them off balance yeah uh, one last thing ladies and I'm gonna let you go and celebrate uh, what's the game plan moving forward? I mean, what, what, what are your goals as far as this year is concerned? Our goals are to make it further than what we did last year and just work on little things, focus, hard, work hard at practice on little things and everything should come together. You guys have fun at practice? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of competitions and scrimmaging. Scrimmaging each other helps and having a lot of numbers to scrimmage helps out a lot. That's cool. What's your goal? So anything? Same thing? Uh, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm here with uh, Coach Watson of West Green. Coach, how does this fear this year feel compared to last year? Um, I think this year in particular we have more bounce. You know, we have uh, we only graduated one senior. Uh, we have a good freshman class coming up. Um, Jersey wise freshman, Elizabeth Brutnock freshman. We got six freshmen. Uh, we have a lot more bounce on offense. We have. Um, like tonight, we had eight girls score. We had four in double figures. You know, it's not, it's not two girls scoring 20, three girls score. It, it's it's a lot of bounce. So it's hard to run junk defenses on us. You know, it's hard to go boxing one, 
try and going to. But I think our balance has been really good. That's what stands out to me this year. The, the difference. We're much deeper than we were last year. The last year we had a we had a solid seven last year, and after that there was a big drop off. You know, this year we got we, we think our eighth ninth best player would start for most teams. Right. So we, our, our depth is really good. And, depth sp and, nice. and and speaking of scoring tonight, you almost had five that scored double digits. Uh, you spread the ball out pretty nicely tonight. Uh, was that one of the game plans moving in? Yeah, we try to just move the ball. I mean, we always preach uh, pa pass up a shot for a good shot, pass up a good shot for a great shot. Yeah, we try to just move the ball quick. Um, you know, just try to try, try to shift the defense. Yeah, we want everybody to make the extra pass and be unselfish. And I think we were. We were very unselfish tonight. Very good on offense. We are pleased with it. Uh, what's the game plan moving forward and what are your goals and aspirations for this season? Uh, I mean, I think going in, uh, you know, first of all, it starts in section. Tonight's a big section win. Both teams were 3-0. and uh, This puts us in first place in the section. Um, our goal was always to go undefeated in section. If we do that, we're going to have a nice seed for playoffs. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's the goal. Just keep winning. Keep winning. Um, get, get that top four seed. If we get a top four seed, we'll get a bye. It should put us where we want to be, hopefully in the state playoffs, and hopefully make a run at the Whippeal. Excellent. Thank you, Coach. Right. This is Coach Blackstone uh, with the Lady Gators. Uh, you guys came in tonight undefeated. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, you dropped uh, the loss today to uh, West Green. Uh, just some thoughts for tonight's game. Yeah, I mean, we knew coming in, this is probably the best team in single way or the second best team in single way. They have a really good shot at Whippy Old Championship this year. So we told the girls before the game, listen, we're not going to lie down. We're not going to make this easy. Play tough the entire game. And even though the score got a little out of hand, they never stopped, you know, playing with intensity, uh, playing with pride. Um, they just kept going the entire night. So they did what we, we asked of them because um, this, this is a very good squad. You know, we can't, we can't change that. They're going to come in with what they have and do what they do. Um, but, yeah, we played with heart. You know, yeah, their pressure gets to you, gets you out of what you want to do. But I think they responded well by never putting their heads down, um, playing the whole, you know, whole game. I guess the silver lining you could take from the night is at least they got to ex experience a team like West Green. Uh, what can you say about that? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it definitely gets you ready for playoffs because you never know who you're going to see. So to see a team that, that presses um, well, closes out well defensively, can shoot from the outside, can drive, drive to the inside, I mean, they do everything well. So, you know, it just makes you better. Um, all of our non-conference games, we try to schedule against good opponent, opponents that are going to, you know, force our hands, make us better. So it's just a learning experience, if anything else. And what do you think one of those things is that you learned from tonight uh, that you can move forward and possibly compete better with a team like West Green? I think definitely inside we have to move our feet better. Um, a lot of times we're straight up, and as soon as they put a move, whether it be left or right, we're not laterally moving. So just getting tougher on the inside, um, both defensively and then both getting the boards. And your girls really hustled tonight. I mean, it's a really quick game. I mean, can you uh, talk about a little bit of their aggression that they play with tonight? Yeah, they, they always play hard. Uh, like I said, we want them to play tough, and they did it all night. So, you know, we, we, they did everything we could ask of them. Just came out short on this one. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, and if you don't mind, I'd just like to say something. Um, I know with the passing of Coach Mishak, I uh, just want to offer our condolences to his family. Um, he meant a lot to this school, and he gave lesser coaches like myself the opportunity to coach at a school where uh, sports are highly valued. So I just want to offer our condolences to him. Okay. Well said. Thank you. Thank you.